what, what does that look like, Eva, when you're saying being a little bit more targeted with your lists and list stacking? I mean, for some people that are newer on here, they're like, well, what does that really mean? I mean, you know, what, what do you, what's your suggestion with that? The whole thing is like, obviously, like right now I'm doing a search in Phoenix. I have this amount of properties. I can just say, hey, you know, I'm looking to target, um, let's say, you know, inherited properties. So when I click on these properties, uh, there's about 1,046 properties. I can just do um, select all. I can add them to an existing list here. And this is just a test account. So um, let's say I'll just do, you know, I'm adding it to this, to this list. So right now, what's going to happen is these properties are, are going to go into my database here. Um, and again, this screen is going to look a little bit different for um, if you, you guys have a current Dash Shades account. So you guys are going to see a lot of the screen, um, the changes being happening in the next um, couple of weeks for sure. Um, but right now, when I'm in here, basically, uh, this is all of my properties that I have in my database that I'm tracking. So if I wanted to come in here and say, hey, what properties are on, let's say, you know, I don't know, let's say five lists. I don't even know how much what this account has, to be honest. Um, let's say three lists. So now basically I'm looking for properties that appear on three different lists at the same time. And obviously the, these properties show up. So if I click on this one, now this is gonna make a little bit more sense when you guys see it. So, um, you see this property appears on three different lists, like I said. So if I click to view the list, I can see this is this is on a test list. It's on a test list and then some other new list here. But just again, this is just a test account, but just imagine that this is a, uh, this property was a vacant property. Uh, maybe I got a vacant list, then I got a pre-foreclosure list, and then let's say I got a tired landlord list. So if this property matches all, all three of those flags, um, I can obviously, this property in theory should, and you guys can see obviously there's a dumpster right above it. So, I mean, this probably 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 just got flipped uh, or is um, actually uh, sold in 2018. So I'm not sure what they're doing with the dumpster in the front. But anyway, so this property in, in theory should have more distress because it has, you know, three, um, again, three different uh, pain points. Um, does that make sense for everybody? I mean, I can obviously go more in depth with the list stacking if needed, uh, but that's the, the whole, the general idea is that you are trying to identify properties that have multiple distress points.